At Calent, we're using generative AI tools from across the ecosystem to enhance the way that we deliver for our customers, the way that we sell to our customers, and everything in between. We're using tools like Amazon Q Developer for our delivery organization to help them transform code faster. We're using tools like our own Bedrock Battleground to help people take advantage of multiple models simultaneously and quickly test different prompts. And we're also building our own generative AI accelerators within our delivery organization. Ryan, can you tell us a little more about those? Yeah, absolutely. So what we found in doing our first passes at AI-led development is that if we spend a little bit more time building tooling around how you validate the end state results and pass through everything that worked correctly, pass back those things that didn't work to the AI and ask it to correct its mistakes, the AI solution will be able to get a lot more of the work done. So it's actually changed the ways of working for our engineers and our architects on our projects. They're focused a lot more on ensuring the upfront design, especially when you're going after like tech debt retirement or modernization type work, making sure that upfront design is right. And then passing a whole chunk of work through AI, letting it do its thing, analyzing the results for patterns in the, you know, the areas where it wasn't able to keep up, improving the way that we prompt or structure the inputs for the AI, and then only taking that last 5, 10, 15% of the work and doing that part manually using their expertise so that they focus their time on high value tasks, encoding their expertise for the AI to understand, and eventually on ensuring that that validation step covers everything that's needed so that we deliver the right results for our clients. I, for one, welcome our new robot overlords. <laughs>